Hello guys and welcome back to another video. Um yes, officially season three is here for Call of Duty Cold War and um Modern Warfare Warzone. Now today what I'm gonna be showing you is an easy way to get your guns leveled up, like the new PBSH. Um as you can see I've got it level twenty nine already and I'm only like I'm about tier 17, so I only unlocked it two tiers ago. But I'm taking advantage of this um, week, uh, this weekend's double weapon XP and double XP um, like weekend. But if you, if it's not on, then all you gotta do is activate a double XP token and a double weapon XP. And now what you wanna do is just head into a game of Firebase Z um, solo. And uh, you'll see why we're doing this. Um, in a second. So I'm going to take this opportunity whilst we're loading in to tell you why I haven't uploaded any Fortnite content um, recently. It's just because Fortnite, I'm getting a bit bored of it. The game's not fun anymore. There's no new content. All the content that they're adding is just making the game overall worse. And um, yeah, so... Don't expect any new Fortnite content. Um, but yeah, so this method, it's going to help you level up your guns um, immensely. Um, but basically, it's a simple process. You don't even need to go get power on. You don't really need any perks but one. So you don't need to get power on. You don't even need to telep teleport to Firebase. Because what we're doing, we're just sticking in the village. And... Um, so yeah, I'll explain once we're fully loaded in. Um, but yeah, so we're sticking down in the village. Um, but, so yeah, as you can say, double for double. Um, so now we are in. Now we're in. All you want to do is just simply start killing zombies. So, you know, just shoot them. Um... But I managed to get this. I had a high game and I managed to level this up. But you don't just have to do this. You can continue playing normally after you've reached the round that you want to. But if you want to get it leveled up really quick, um, you're going to want to kill yourself. So what we're basically doing is just running around the village and killing zombies up to um, round 10. And then you can either open up this door because you'll have about, if you get double points, about maybe 20k points so you can go through there and get all the power on. Um, but, no, what we're going to do, I'm going to show you the quick way to do it. So you just want to kill as many zombies as you can up until round 10. Uh, and you should start to see, as you're killing zombies, your little XP bar going up. But if you play for longer, you can also get your gun leveled up still. Um, you'll get more XP if you're looking to level up whilst leveling up your gun. Then do this as your first part of your game. Then go and play normally. Um, but just for the sake of this YouTube video, um, I'm literally just going to do the simple method of, um, you know, just killing as many zombies as I can and then killing myself um so yeah the perk that we can buy is quick revive and uh you don't have to but if you have it leveled up to um tier five um quick revive if you do go down you can save your um self revive just by simply killing a zombie because we're only going up to about round um about round 10 they should be pretty easy to kill with the little pistol that you have on the ground. Uh, pick up armour. Um, but you want to avoid nuke drops because that loses you zombies to kill with your weapon. Um, but yeah, this PBSH, I've been grinding for it. And I just want to get it levelled up because, you know, I'm on the dark E for grind. I've still got, still got a little while to actually do this whilst... Because I can't really see... This is going to be the Black Ops game for now. So I'm going to stick to this. And a lot of content is probably going to come out. 
on this and Warzone, because if you didn't know, uh, Warzone, they uh, nuked the map, and now we're in a 1984 version of the dance glitch. You know, I think is actually a pretty nice way of linking the stories together, considering that both games have the same battle pass, and the storyline was going through about 1984 during the Cold War, and to have Warzone set on a map in 2021, you know, it was, it was a bit confusing. Um, but, yeah, also, if you're wondering why it says price, it's because if you bought um, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War um, during Season 3 or before Season 3, then they give you a bonus of the Captain Price skin. So, but... It's called the Captain Price skin on Cold War. Yeah, on Warzone, it's called the 1984 Captain Price. Which, obviously, 1984. So... Um, yeah, you do want to collect some grenades. Just then, at the end, it's easier for you to die. Or you can let zombies kill you. But... Uh, let's have a couple... Of, let's have a 7 tags. So yeah, just repeat this process. I will speed it up until around round nine. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. Right, so now, as you can see, we're on round nine. We're just gonna finish this round off. Um, yeah, we're just gonna finish this round off and then I'll show you, oh, you have to complete round 10 fully as well. Um, so you're basically you're killing yourself at the beginning of um, round 11. So let us just, you know, I didn't want you. Sit, I didn't want to bore everyone by making them sit through me killing zombies for 10 rounds. Um, basically doing the same thing over and over. But yeah, so this is the basic thing as I'm showing. Oh, come on, don't down. Sorry, I've just been downstairs, so if I sound out for it, it's because I quickly ran down there and did what I needed to do. And then came back up. Ah, don't down. Let's throw a decoy nade. They're handy if you can get them. So as you can see, that also holds them up a little bit with decoys. So they all flock to the decoys. Alright, come on. There's only a few more zombies to kill them. Also, a stim pack there, they're useful to grab over decoys. So, if you have decoys, quickly throw them, grab them. Insta kills are useful. Right, so we're on round 10 now. We've got to complete this, and then we kill ourselves at the beginning of um, round of, um, of round uh, t uh, 11. Sorry. Um, so yeah, this insta kill is gonna run out before I have a chance to kill every, anything with it, is, isn't it? Oh, oh, and this can be a useful way of getting your camo challenges done. Um, oh, ah, oh, mimic. Sometimes a mimic will spawn on round ten. Sometimes it don't. It shouldn't be a pain to get rid of. What I usually do is just try and melee the mimic, like. If you kill everything else and then the mimics the, the issue, just knife it a bit. I have got a uh, level 5 or a, what do you call it, um, upgrade 5 of um, melee. So I do have a Bowie knife as my, uh, um, instead of using the butt of your gun like you do to start out. By doing the melee upgrade, you actually end up with um, a Bowie knife. Uh, we've got to buy some ammo. As I said, if you can, don't throw any nades. Don't waste any zombies. Try not to pick up nukes. You only want insta-kill, double points. Um, carpenters are all right to pick up. You don't have to grab carpenters. Um, but it does regen your armor so you can. Um, just got to get rid of the rest of these zombies. And then 
as you can see, look again, more camos, gonna have to stim, uh, max ammos are actually pretty good, because they allow you to just not waste your points on things, so if you are planning to play normally after, you don't end up wasting your points, right, we're almost at the end of this now, um, there, right, now we've just got this mimic, so if you melee it two times, now as you can see it's quite weak, and then just get it and spray it, and uh, they drop ammo things, so all you want to do now is just throw nades at the ground, down yourself, and then you can either let yourself bleed out or quicker ways to revive yourself and then throw more semtexes down, and then there we go. So that actually ends the game. As it's on double XP, you get 3,171, at least I did, you might not, but you can try and get critical kills, I've got 117, I've got 219 elims, and 2,800, and 28,580 is my score, um, so they're roughly the points that you'll end up with. Uh, yeah, I've just leveled up in the battle pass again, but look, I've leveled it up. I leveled it up, that was, do I only do it twice, because if it was only twice, that can happen, oh, whoops, whoops, um, but let's take a peek, yeah, I only leveled it up twice, but that's because, you can see I'm very close to leveling up there, if you do carry on playing, you get more XP, as I said, like, I could have played out round 11 and got three levels but as it levels up more it gets less and less and as you can see i've got these upgrades for this and i've not even had the gun that long um so yeah th this has been the method to um unlock um yeah w weapon levels easier uh, feel free to use it um sub to my youtube like subscribe and if you could share to people that you know like this sort of content and if it has been helpful to you then yeah so um this is going to be me signing the video off